WLWT cutting taxes to gain a competitive edge. An effort to eliminate Ohio's income tax by 2030 is now underway. But what exactly would that mean for your finances? The questions all of us Ohioans want answered. WLWT News 5's Todd Dykes is getting those answers for us and lays out the important details and the next steps as this is all coming to a plan next week. Todd. Yes, yeah, Stephen, Megan, and Kelly, a handful of lawmakers say now is the time to start a full court press against Ohio's personal income tax. You know, it was just six months ago that Governor DeWine signed a budget that collapsed the state's tax brackets down from three to two with a top rate at three and a half percent. But some say that rate is still too high, like State Representative Adam Matthews of Lebanon and Ohio Senator George Lang of Westchester. Their proposal would eliminate the income tax by 2030. They say it's a business boosting trend that began several years ago. The formula is working. Businesses are coming back to Ohio at a greater pace than almost any other state in America. And you guys hear about the big guys. I'm, I love it. Amazon, Honda, Ford, Google, Intel, building the biggest chips factory in the galaxy right here in Ohio. Right now, nine other states have no income tax. Of course, the big concern in all this, how do you make up the revenue that would simply disappear? Well, Senator Lang says things like Ohio's abundant water supply and also clean, reliable energy would attract more businesses who would hire more workers who would spend more money, thus generating more sales tax revenue for the state. Of course, there are skeptics, and those skeptics and supporters can learn more about this proposal during upcoming town hall meetings. It was one, the first one that happened on Tuesday of this week up in Mason. There's going to be another one next week on Thursday at a to-be-determined location here in Greater Cincinnati. Once we know where that event will be, we'll be certain to pass it along. For now, reporting live this morning, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.